Well, thank goodness she missed that. <laughs> oh, just get out duel to come. Oh, God, I can't out duel you. Okay, Lux in the mid lane, going up against the Nikali, um, which I don't think I'm going to love, because you know assassins, they hurt us squishies, but she did run teleport, which means that she's not going to have that ignite pressure, which I guess is a good thing for me, so she's not going to be as strong. I ran the dark harvest idea of things, because I always tend to find, like, my argument is, if I can get easy harassment off on a target, I'll go Dark Harvest. Right, so, Assassins, most melee champions, um, even closer range mages, I'll go Dark Harvest. But if they're long range, like a Vagar or a Vel'Koz or Xerath or something like that, I'll normally go um, Arcane Comet, just because you're not really going to be poking them all that much. So, kind of what we're hoping for here is that this Akali is going to, of course, step up to get these minions. We can then throw out our E. Which will then hopefully damage her, but it didn't. And I also missed a minion there, which surprises me. I mean, missing minions does not surprise me. That is like Twigger 101. Um, and I should hopefully be able to harass her just a bit. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you're going to hit level 2 first, you should be kind of moving up. Oh, the game sounds a little bit quiet for everybody else. Ow. Might be just a little bit quiet, I think. Damn. Okay, so Kane was mid. Okay, unfortunately I had to burn my flash there. I mean, it's not like the most make it or break it thing. I'm still kind of okay with it. Thank God she didn't have Ignite, am I right? <laughs> well, at least Morgana got the Dark Harvest stack. I mean, that's all that we really care about, right? Damn, I didn't get that one. Gosh, she's so damn low, though. But it is still pretty risky for me to be here because I don't have a lot of mana. I feel like she should be going back, right? Oh, God! Oh, I got the Dark Harvest stack. Boy, Kane is really liking this lane, huh? to stop her from being there i mean it's not really gonna mean much because she has tp but if it can at least get me through oh she actually did not go back
just trying to stop her beat. And unfortunately, I just got my ultimate too. That is so unfortunate. Mm. Okay. I mean, it's 41 to 20. I guess I'm still not, like, too upset by it. I'm a little bit more upset by that. If he dies. Um... My lane has become a tiny bit more challenging. Just a wee bit more challenging. Um, so Kane definitely did those raptors. Yep. So Kane's currently going top. But I have enough to kill her if I landed a binding. The answer to that question is yes! <laughs> the answer might surprise you. <laughs> okay. Alright. So that's good. I'm not unhappy about that one. Um, getting a secured kill there. Makes it a tad bit easier for me. Um, might very well do this. I could get boots right now. But I actually feel like I don't really need the movement speed to get away from her. Because she's got too many dashes. Right? She's She's got way too many dashes for me to worry about having to run away with boots. But having the Kindle Gem giving me 200 additional health and the ability haste should keep me alive. So I won't need to worry about running away. Big brain people. Big, big brain. Okay, and I've got my combo back already. this here. Just gonna keep this right here, put her in a weird position. I'm assuming that the cane is gonna be here at some point. Okay, so they did the dragon. That's the infernal. Don't love that. though that's the thing oh man when morgana lands her binding like that when she's invisible it just makes for a guaranteed cue for me that's kind of the gross aspect of morgana and lux just one of us lands a binding and yikes okay well that puts me right back into this game Don't know where Kane is, though. 
Okay, Kane's topside. Just saw him. Sweet! All dude hero, thanks for the 17 months, buddy. My favorite league streamer sub 17 months in a row. This pleases me. It also pleases me. Oh god. I almost got my shield off. I was so close to getting my shield. I actually don't think the shield would have saved me. What would that have done? Oh, yeah, 73 damage. Yeah, never mind. No way. I mean, I did get a good E off onto the Akali. She was definitely being greedy coming back in there. But, ah, oh, the fact that Kane was here. I mean, he's blue Kane. Of course he's going to be here. Dude runs a mile a minute. So, got to be aware of that. But at least I did get the return kill. And right now, 81 to 44. Like, I'm not really going to be too complacent about that because the cane visited mid lane so many times we gave up the first blood to the um the cane as well um so you know there was he's on a rampage though so i'm not loving that <laughs> at least when you're blue cane you're pretty squishy so i mean What were you thinking? Okay. Well, she doth be feeding. Um, luckily I had my Everfrost. So she kind of went back in and we just locked her down under the turret. I'm all right with that. Okay, so. That's 700 gold. Don't have enough to go back for boots though, so I don't think I'm gonna go back yet. But I am liking that I've got such a lead on this Akali. Okay, that was taken. The thing is with Kane, similar to like an Evelyn and stuff, Similar to like an Evelyn, you kind of have to put wards in like weirder places. Because he can come through walls and stuff. So having one here will show if he's doing raptors. Okay, I think I just saw Kane topside, didn't I? Funny guy. This is why you don't taunt in the game, people. This is why you don't taunt. You know? Because then you make plays like that so damn easy. All I want is to hit her with a binding. Because if I hit that binding, she's dead. Bummer. Okay. I'm now thinking Hourglass is gonna need to happen. Oh my god! They're probably gonna do the dragon off of that. Could only imagine, because that would make sense. Yep, there he is. Oh, this is a dead man. Okay. 
So, two dragons and none. It's really just the cane who's fed. But we've got like a fed Cho'Gath, we got a fed Lux. Ooh, that would have been nice. The problem is this Akali isn't worth anything. Oh god. Ooh, what was that vein doing? She tumbled into all of us. Jin might be dead. Landing the bindings when they count, people. It's what separates the good luxes from the great luxes. Am I still dead? Yep. She actually flashed my Q. Oh, did that condemn just save him? No, probably not. Oh, oh he doesn't have feast. Oh, if he had feast, he was dead okay the couple couple things here so i saw the akali's flash which i actually think was epic because she put down that shroud and she flashed immediately over my q because if i hit that q she was probably dead to my combo so epic play by the akali gotta give credit where credit is due however she did now just get a kill on me i think it was also a shutdown which might have been unfortunate yeah two shutdowns great but it means that she's worth gold again so if we get a kill on her all of a sudden we're feeling a little bit better about life so that's you gotta always look at the bright side of life people you gotta look at the bright side of things not every play is gonna be amazing sometimes you're gonna falter but there's always a silver lining Creation, destruction, and well i hate the fact that that missed Why did it send him that way? Oh god! I had my hourglass, but I didn't think it was gonna be worthwhile to use it. That sucked! I literally waited on that, so I was hopefully gonna shoot him this way, and he went over the wall with it. I set him up to kill me! How did Akali get a shutdown?! What even is this game? Oh, the ignite? Is that gonna be enough? Nope. Man, what even is this game? Oh, it's all so confusing. <laughs> okay. Um. So Vayne gets the turret. That's not great. Um, we are starting to like come back though. Like the cane has been very aggressive and the thing is as well if i land my q on the cane he can't use his ultimate because he's rooted i mean yep once again like the everfrost has been such a clutch item this game Shogath and Lux. This is disgusting. I 
want an assist! Okay. Once again, so silver linings. Silver linings. Silver linings. At least it was the Rel that got the shutdown on me. Right? I'll take that! Right? I still get an assist on the Rel also? I get an assist on the Rel as well as Rel as... Yes. So, she gets the shutdown. Which is good. And then I still get an assist. My team claims their first dragon, so we get the ocean dragon. Yeah, I feel like the, um, the cane has kind of let his team down here. Like, he's being super aggressive for not really much reason. And he's just getting caught out to the point of him dying, like, every single time. Like, we just root him and then CC him to absolute death. Like, I feel like he shouldn't be running into our team like this. He should be kind of, like, focusing on finding picks. With that being said, however... Um... Well... Can't say this isn't going to be a barren attempt. However, I am Lux. And I am known to do this. I'm gonna call it right now, I'm stealing this Baron. Never mind. Oh, it was so close though. Man. I mean, it's now just like one of them has it. So I guess I'm okay with that. But man, I was so close. It was at what, like a hundred something HP? It hurts the soul, people. Oh, I did not get him. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, at least, once again, if Rel's gonna pick up all of these shutdowns on me, we'll take it. Silver lining, people. Silver lining. That's all we gotta look for. Because she keeps on getting these shutdowns. Oh, Jager Bombs, thanks for the three months. And also, Sergeant G's, welcome back. 15 months, buddy. Great to have you back. Hopefully, you're doing well. Um, okay. I just say we go for damage, right? Like, let's just pop. Just pop. Pop and pop and pop them. We've got 20 stacks of the Dark Harvest, which is nice. Baron is the only one on their team, I believe, that has Baron buff. So we did a good job at removing Baron from a lot of their team. But akali's managed to find her way back into this game not in terms of the cs department she's still 89 to 150 so that feels okay okay dragon is coming up at 40. A nice little pick.
Well, thank goodness she missed that. Just get out duel to come. Oh god, I can't outduel you! Oh, that was a really good flash though! No! <laughs> is, is it over? Is it o is it over? Okay, it's over. Okay. okay. Okay, it's, it's, it's over. He can't hurt me anymore. <laughs> oh, God. This, it, it, let, tell me, tell me if you think I'm being crazy. Tell me if you think I'm being crazy. So Everfrost became an item, and mages started using it, and they were like, you know what? Mages are overpowered. Let's make Everfrost 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds. Right? They did that. Fine. Whatever. You're gonna nerf my item. But why haven't they nerfed Stridebreaker yet? The only way that we deal with people like Darius and Set and Garen and Wukong and Lee Sin, all these things, is by kiting them. But now there's no kiting them! He freaking has a 20 second cooldown dash AoE slow to get him on top of me! Like, that's just not right! How did she go so far? What the hell? Oh, God! this Garen anymore. I mean, not saying that I ever really did love him. But how the hell do I deal with that? That guy does so much damage, and he's built basically nothing but tank other than this stupid-ass Stridebreaker. The Baron of the Nasher variety is currently alive. Cho'Gath has Feast. So we should be okay. Defcon Clown, welcome back. 10 months. Good morning. How are you doing? I just needed that gold for death cap. Okay, I got it. <laughs> it's on like a 24 second cooldown. It doesn't matter. Okay, so my ult is doing 1,217 damage. That's a spicy ult. Especially considering that it's on a 20 second cooldown. Oh. Wow, I did nothing to that Garen. Did I actually not hit him there? Woo! 
Come on, Kane! You think that you're all that and a bag of potato chips? You're nothing to me! Okay. So, I mean, they got the dragon. Which does kind of suck. But... Am I really complaining that much? Probably not. Is literally nothing up here? No, at least there's something. Basically, no point in not taking those. Okay, we got 3,100 gold. What are we gonna spend it on? Probably just something to kill this Garen, right? Just maybe sheer unadulterated damage? Or we could go for a Banshee's Veil, but that, I feel like it's just gonna get popped so quickly by like the relative vein. Let's do this! Screw it. Pure unadulterated damage. Yeah, it's not the Force, so yeah, luckily it wasn't the Ocean Soul, because if Garen gets the Ocean Soul, I'm gonna be pissed. And I've got to not ult the Garen. The only reason that I ulted there was because I thought that I landed on the vein too. But I didn't. Ah, oh, Miku and Sue, thanks for the bits! Okay. I feel like we can fight here. Oh. <sighs> Oh, wow, that was a rel engage. <laughs> I like that this team is nice. I don't mind losing if the enemy team is pleasant about it. Fuck, that Rel engage was crazy. Um, we might still be in this? Two seconds on the Pantheon? Yeah, we could probably fight. Morgana's got ult. Okay, so unfortunately we don't have any turrets left. Because that now means that we've got the open nexus. And the problem is they've got a cane who can quite easily back door. Oh, well. Oh, he still had Banshee? How does he still have Banshees after all that? That's an amazing, amazing bind. I feel like we just gotta go straight. Oh my god!
<laughs> They're probably gonna get soul. Let them have soul. I think we have to just let them have a soul. Like, there's not really much that we can do there. It's unfortunate, but, you know, at least we got the Baron. Maybe we should have gotten some form of healing reduction? I don't really know. But, as long as we... I mean, this could be kind of greedy, to be honest. The thing is, like, at this stage of the game... If I land, like, a double combo, like, if I can kill, like, the Kane and the Vayne or something like that, the Vayne Kane combo, we win the game. Like, this ult is doing 1400 damage. The thing is, I feel like we really have to play around my Zonia's Hourglass timing. I almost one-shot her. Holy shit. from the jaws of defeat get some baby let's go i mean who do i give it to i guess like chogath chogath played out of his mind he was gigantic we just had to keep landing combos just combo after combo after combo 23 9 and 15 we got the s and then in terms of damage 51918 like oh my goodness we got out damage by the cane, though. That cane was nuts. But almost 4,000 damage just from Dark Harvest alone. Like, we needed the carry Lux that game, and we got the carry Lux that game. <laughs>